We're going home today, Diesel, so I'm not even gonna make the bed. How about that? And it's cold enough that I need to wear this ridiculous thing again. Okay. So we've been going a little while already and uh, we're at the border. The last stop in the United States before we get home. I'm excited. It's a little bit colder than I thought it would be today, but uh, you know, we are back at the Canadian border, so what did I expect? I don't know. I thought maybe there would be puppies and rainbows. Uh, no, it's just cold. Okay, yep. Diesel, how about you walk yourself, man? Woo! I can't even complain, this is not cold. This is actually really warm yet. It's, it's not that bad. It's just after being in the south for a, a while, and having this warm wave that's just been carrying me north so that warm weather stayed with me all the way up here last night i'll be okay i'll be okay. I'll just do this diesel you want to go outside there you go oh man we gotta hurry, you got a vet appointment this afternoon. We gotta get home for, man. It's a little nipply. Whoo! Yep. Whew, that wakes you up. Nice cold blast of air to the lungs. So we've been driving a little bit today already. And uh I just wanted to stop here and let diesel up before we cross into Canada. That way we can uh rush back. Well I gotta fill, fill up some fuel. Since it's getting cold around, make sure I fuel up with Canadian fuel. I don't know how cold it's gonna get before I get back to the truck if it gets down too cold. The fuel I have in here is from Iowa, I believe. And uh, that fuel has been known to gel up a little quicker when it gets cold. It's not gonna get cold enough to gel up the fuel. But for my peace of mind, I'm just gonna make sure I have some Northern fuel in my, uh, in my tanks before I park the truck and go home so that I don't have any issues when they need me to go out again. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. I think I did gel up twice, didn't I? Shame on me. Fool me three times. Oh, shame on you. That's how the saying goes, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to get going. It's been a long time. <sighs> Let's do this. Kanita, we're back, Diesel. I'm glad we brought two sweaters. So in three days, we went from palm trees, green leaves, green grass, sunshine. To the left on Port Selkirk Highway. Oh, don't Highway worry, I know where I'm going, Karen. I know where I'm going, thanks. And now look at this, three days of driving. Everything is brown and dead, sleeping, hibernating. Continue on this road for 15 kilometers. And the scale is closed, thank you. That is a proper welcome home. It's been a long time and I'm glad that, uh, glad that they welcomed me home like that with the closed scale. Oh, and it just closed too. There's guys over on the scales over there. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Closed it just for me or what? Those lights weren't flashing, right? You saw it. You saw, right? I'm gonna keep going. I didn't see him flashing. I'm gonna keep going. back in the pickup and we're going straight to the vet I don't have time to even run home yet we made it in time so we are gonna make the appointment but just barely so I'm just heading over there now diesel you ready you ready for this getting an old man checkup man get that bald patch on his stomach looked at and uh, I guess that little scrape under his eyes pretty much healed already I'll just mention it but it's probably fine I'll uh, we'll probably have to get his teeth looked at he'll need a teeth cleaning soon Make sure there's no infections anywhere. Make sure everything's all tip top. I don't know if they'll do some blood tests or anything. I don't know, I'll just tell them to, you know, do a full service. Check everything out, make sure he's all good. Nine years old, buddy, you're still young. But just in case, you know, just in case. That's uh, 56 in human years, approximately 56 to 60. That's around about the time you, uh, you wanna go and uh, 
take the take the truck to the shop for a service you know just make sure everything just get it checked over a little bit of a safety you know safety inspection gotta make sure you're all doing good bud he's got a little bump on his under his on his belly too that I want them to look at make sure that that's not anything I should be worried about and then from now on we'll we will probably take him in annually once a year just you know keep on top of things so we can catch things before they uh well he goes in once a year anyway for his shots right just trying to be thorough extend his life as much as possible you know you gotta live to be 25 man our vet is down a gravel road that's okay lots of gravel roads around here are you excited diesel excited to see the doctor <laughs> well, they expanded their parking out here now. I'm going right up here. You excited, bud? COVID-19 arrival instructions. Remain in your vehicle. Call that number for further instructions. If you have no phone, activate hazard lights and wait in vehicle for further instructions. The parking lot is our temporary waiting room. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Well then, we shall make a phone call. Da, 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 da. Let them know we're here. Oh, I guess it's going through the whole system. I'm sorry. The number you've reached is not in service at this time. Oh, I dialed the wrong number. Whoops a doodle. Okay. Uh, now let's try this number. Okay. Got one of the numbers mixed up. That's why they expanded their parking over there. That makes sense. See, they got all those people over there as well. On the other side of those trees. It's a lot of cars here. Chris Ring Animal Hospital, can you hold please? Yes, I can. They put me on hold before too when I was calling to confirm the appointment. They've obviously got a lot of a lot of phone calls coming in. Everything is over the phone now. Like I was telling you, Manitoba is uh, code red right now. I got my muzzle. This will keep me safe. Gotta wash this thing. Thanks. That's gross. Gotta wash that. Thanks for holding. How can I help you? Hi, this is Josh Geesbrecht. I'm uh, here in the parking lot with Diesel for our one o'clock appointment. Okay, do you have a mask with you? I do, yep. All right, you can come on in. Thank you. No problem. All right, all right, Diesel. I guess you don't need a mask. Lucky boy. Wish I was a dog. Hold on here, bud. I gotta put this on. Hold on, just wait. Just wait, I know you're excited. I love going to see the doctor too. I don't think you know where we are yet. All right, come on. I really don't think he has any idea where we are. He's just excited. Hey, 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 don't take the leash around my truck like that, man. That's not cool. Hee <laughs> hee, home. Thought we were going home. <laughs> just waiting for the vet to come in here now. So, he's also getting his distemper vaccine today. He was due for that soon, so I figured we'd get it done while, while he's here. I don't gotta worry about that in the future. He always goes kind of crazy once we get uh, into a place where other dogs are or have been. Hey, but you're laying down now on your own. That's good. Good boy, you just keep doing that, okay? Stay. Well, Diesel? You got the green light from the good doctor. Uh, the patch on his uh, stomach, the vet was not too worried about. I've got some cream to rub on it for the next seven days, twice a day. Uh, he got his distemper today. Also made an appointment for Chevy and Big Frank. 
to come and st uh, see the vet on Friday. They need their distemper as well. And she wasn't too worried about that lump under the skin. She said it's, it's nothing to really worry about. And uh, he got the green light. He's doing good. He's healthy. I guess we'll check up on you again in a year, eh, Diesel? How about that? For now, let's go home. I want to check out our new fence. I'm pretty excited about it. Ah, don't throw rocks at me. Don't throw rocks at me. Don't do it. Don't throw rocks. I might throw rocks back. I gotta wash this truck actually too. Diesel, you wanna go through the car wash first? We're gonna have to uh, see if there's a lineup. If there's a lineup, I'm not gonna bother. If there's no lineup, we're gonna go get a truck wash. How about that? Stay. Hey, look at me. You almost drove in here without looking, bud. Doesn't look like they got a lineup. All right. Make our way into the super splash. Give this truck a bath before going home. Whenever I park this truck in the yard at work for a couple of weeks, it, it gets all covered in dust and dirt, even though the yard is paved. It's just filthy being parked out there. And I want to go home with a clean truck, at least on the outside. All right. Fire and ice car wash. Oh, there's somebody in line now, of course. Uh, two people, of course, two people lined up while I was inside. Nice. There we go. I think I gotta leave space for uh, vehicles to get through here, so we'll just stop here. Oh, we have two in front of us. Diesel. Diesel, you feeling good? Feeling good that the doctor gave you the thumbs up? She gave you two thumbs up, man. Two thumbs up, two paws up. But he does need to get his teeth cleaned soon. He'll need some dental work done soon. Yep. So Friday, can I tell you that already? Friday is when we bring Chevy in and Big Frank. Just for a shot, each distemper. Oh, I remember what I was gonna tell you now. Was, oh, it finally came to me, okay. I was gonna get this truck detailed this week, right? I'm home, figured I'd get it cleaned out. Of course he's super busy right now and he doesn't have time to detail my truck this week. So we'll wait, I guess. He said he's gonna call me if something popped up or if he got time, but uh, apparently he's booked up for almost two weeks. That's how good he is though, man. Everyone wants him to clean their vehicle. Uh, I'm talking with Dion Schrader and Steinbach. He's a really good detailer. There's many other detailers that are good around here too and in Winnipeg. I'm just not familiar with them yet. I was familiar with this guy. Maybe uh, maybe I'll find someone else around Steinbach that uh, is a good detailer. I mean, I could clean it out myself too, but I never do as good of a job as the people who are you know professionals at it. And I wanted to do that, right? It was sort of like my celebration of getting this truck paid off, being payment free, getting new tires and a nice detail. And I gotta get that rust fixed on my driver's side rear uh, uh, wheel well. <sighs> next summer, I gotta put some money away for it so that next summer we can afford to uh, get that done. Now there's one in front of us. Well, we got home. We wanna show the people the fence. Look at this. Look at you going outside with no leash. With no leash, look at this. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. You gotta stay on that side though. This fence is awesome. I could, I'm just gonna put a string on this yet so I can get in here. There we go. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? We've got a whole fenced in yard here now. Look at this. All the way down there. Nice and straight and level. That fence was already here, remember? We were told by that guy that it's ours, but I think it's theirs. Either way, it works. And we have it going all the way around over here. Back here. Watch out, Chev. Back over there. 
have a nice yard here where the dogs can run around and it's not as big as the the last yard was honestly but it'll do right at least they can run off leash here and we can always take them out to our spot our property out in the country really get their energy out and let them run so this meets up with the fence here nice and solid Much better, eh? Much better. This was all open before. It's all open. What do you think, Diesel? Hmm? Why don't you guys run? Why are you just standing around? Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> He's too busy sniffing. So many smells. We also had them out here before, running them. Running them, getting their energy out. So I'm thinking, though, for this fence here, see, in summertime, we were going to put the black slats through here, right? Just to make it... A little more private and in the back as well but i found this really nice mesh that you can just uh covers up along the whole fence i think each section and you just like uh snap tie or not snap tie zip tie it up there it seems to be a lot easier and it's also completely uh private then right whereas slats you can still sort of see between them makes things a lot easier for us and especially for brit while i'm out on the road she can just let the let the dogs run around. And this thing right here in the middle of the yard, we're getting rid of that next summer. It's obviously we're not gonna park our cars in it. And uh, it takes up a lot of space in this yard. If we go all the way over here. It takes up like a, almost a quarter of the yard. A lot better anyways. It is a lot, a lot better. I like it. I'm very glad we went with the six foot instead of the five foot. Because, here, let's go stand by it over here. Five foot would have been a little bit too short. It would have kept the dogs in the yard, would have done the trick. But the reason I was worried about the six foot, see, it's just about my height. I was worried about the six foot because I thought that it might look too much like a prison yard or like a schoolyard. But I think it actually looks pretty good. I think it's just the right height. All right, Diesel, Chevy, come on, let's go inside. Come on. So much better for them. So much better. And it smells great in here. It looks great too. Did you miss me? Be honest. Be honest. Uh, 15%. A little bit, a little bit, 15. That's pretty good. That's better than 10%. Some days it was 20. No way. Yes, way. We're doing good, boys. 20%. Boys, are there any girls watching? Oh, yeah, girls too. Boys understand, I think. I don't know what I'm getting at, really. I don't know what I'm talking about. So what you doing? Oh, I'm just gonna thaw out the spaghetti. Having spaghetti? Yep, the sauce. Mm. Delicious. So it's good to be home. Brit looks like she's just, you know, season four of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Are you watching it again or are you, uh, this is the third time that I've watched it. Or fourth. Oh, okay. I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What you got, Chef? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Just gonna get my laundry done here real quick and that'll be that. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We're gonna be home for a while now, so I'll see you right here tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>